So one of the biggest problems any online business owner will face is making the first sale with a new prospective customer. Statistics show that in general, only 2% of prospects convert. Now the other 98% leave and may never come back to your website. This means that any money that you've invested into getting people to visit your website has been lost. And that can actually quickly add up to a lot of wasted money. Now, if we take a closer look at these statistics, the big question becomes, why do online shoppers leave without paying or taking some sort of action? Now, although there are maybe hundreds of reasons why a potential customer may not take action or make a purchase, these five are some of the most common. Number one, they are presented with unexpected costs or they can't afford it. Number two, they thought the price was just too expensive. Number three, they found a better price elsewhere. Or number four, they decided against buying. Or number five, they were just browsing. You see, with such a high percentage of people leaving your site, each of course with their own reasoning, is there any way to get them back to your site without having to reinvest a ton of more money into getting new clients? The answer is yes. And this is what we call retargeting. Facebook retargeting marketing is gaining more and more popularity with website owners. And here's why. I'm sure you've run into retargeting ads that are targeted towards yourself. And let me explain how they work. Imagine if you go to google.com and you type in a specific item that you're looking to buy, say barbecue grills. Let's say this barbecue grill website owner sets up a Facebook retargeting campaign. You're interested, but you don't buy at the very moment. Maybe it's because you're busy, maybe because the price is too high, maybe whatever reason it is, you leave. Then you happen to go to facebook.com and see ads related to the site that you've just visited. You're intrigued and you come back and buy or take a specific action. You see, in this case, the retargeting ads sealed the deal that you would ultimately buy from them. If you're still not convinced of the power of retargeting, then here's a specific statistic. You see, according to Comscore study, retargeting ads led to about 1,046 increase in branded search and about 726 lift in site visitation after about four weeks of retargeted ad exposure. That's a huge, huge amount of people that otherwise would likely never come back to your website or your landing page. Now, the best news about this is that you can do it for your own website. So I'd like to introduce you to a nine part video course that shows you how to do this step by step. So in other words, while 2% of your prospects may convert after viewing the website initially, the other 98% who may leave may never come back. So this video course is all about how to professionally use Facebook retargeting marketing to bring back about 98% and convert window shoppers into buyers. So I'm gonna show you how to properly set this up and use the power of retargeting on the facebook.com platform. Now, here's a quick overview of what's inside this video course. Video number one is the introduction. We'll give you a quick overview of the course. We'll talk about how to get in the right mindset so that you start off strong. And then we talk about what tools and what things you'll need to have in hand to get started. Video number two is a visual mind map of the Facebook retargeting process. Before we jump in and show you how to set things up step by step, it's really good to get a bird's eye view or a general view of everything at once. So this is what this video covers. Video number three, we'll talk about the visual mind map of real life scenarios. By giving you some real life scenarios or real life examples, what this does is it enables your mind to start moving, start jogging with ideas so that you can pick and choose which one you want to go with and that you begin to understand the whole process of Facebook retargeting. Number four, we'll talk about the Facebook pixel, what it is, why it's important, and how you can use it. Video number five, we'll talk about adding the pixel to your website, whether you're using WordPress or ClickFunnels, lead pages, or any other landing page builder. Video number six, we'll talk about pixel variables and settings, otherwise known as standard events. Video number seven, we'll talk about custom audiences and of course how to create custom audiences in video number eight. And of course, last but not least, video number nine, we'll talk about retargeting campaign setup. So we're gonna take everything that you've learned up until this point and set up a campaign to show you how to implement 
and embed the custom audiences within that retargeting campaign. So if you're interested in how to create your own highly successful Facebook retargeting campaign, with that said, everything you need to know is right here inside this video course.